Every once in a while, people need to take a day off or two from work to relax and not think about work for a change. That's why a lot of people save their leave credits just so they could spend it all in one go. Usually, a lot of tourist destinations are put up on the web, but what they don't tell you is how many of these attractions are overrated and far too crowded in all honesty. So if you're planning on vacationing somewhere new and far away, you're in luck since our topic for today deals with the world's most overrated tourist attractions. So sit down and take notes, but before we proceed further, kindly give our video video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on so you'll be notified of our new releases. Continuing with the topic, here are the most overrated tourist attractions in the world. Times Square, New York City Starting the list, we have probably one of the most crowded places in the world, event or not, Times Square in New York City. Of course, watching a show on Broadway is a must-do experience while in New York, but other than the numerous LED lid boards, crowded spaces, overpriced bars, and stores in the area, there's so much more to see other than Times Square. If you fancy a walk, then drop by the Alice in Wonderland statue in Central Park, or even spend an afternoon at the Morgan Library. The library is also home to several exhibitions, so make sure to check that out once you're in the area. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy. Next on the list is an image you've probably seen far too many times on postcards or your Facebook news feeds with your friends trying to hold up the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. Having a clear solo shot is nearly impossible with the number of tourists also flocking the place, so driving that extra hour from Florence isn't a really good deal. Instead of driving there, just go to one of Italy's lesser known and best kept secret destinations, Fiesta and Gargiano. It has a national park with virgin forests and golden sand beaches, so trust us, this one you'll definitely love. Kuta Bali Kuta has been revered as the go-to beaches on any occasion, and is still on the trending spot as one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world, and it is true. The beaches of Bali are nothing short of terrific with Buddhist temples and luscious jungles, but the place has been packed with tourists over the last decade. If you're feeling curious and up for an adventure, then we'd highly suggest that you visit the secluded village of Lays, where it is home to the Yemapi Waterfall, and also it has a great hidden snorkeling spot to boot. The Hollywood Sign, Los Angeles Aside from the sign, you can add the Hollywood Walk of Fame, with the first one you can blame Miley Cyrus for singing about it in Party in the USA. But like many other touristy spots, the Hollywood Walk of Fame is just another tourist trap with unoriginal attractions patched with a wax museum and the other thing it has is the Paramount Picture Studio. Trust us, there are several hidden gems worth seeing in Los Angeles, other than Hollywood, such as the historic Southwest Museum or the Soap Plant Waco, or maybe you can even drink a beer or two at the Idle Hour Bar. Boracay Island, Philippines If we're talking about pristine white sands and clear blue water, most people would likely answer Boracay to this destination. Of the islands in the Philippine archipelago, Boracay was a famous tourist spot for its white sand and was once a tropical paradise to many, but sadly, over-tourism did a lot of damage to the place. A lot of bars have been constructed in the area which contributed to the population and made the tranquil waters more of a spring break party every night at the beach. The Philippines is home to various destinations, but the lesser known ones is the Tinipak River in Tanay and the Jomalig Island located in Quezon Province are destinations worth exploring. Champs El Cis, Paris Probably known as the most glamorized of all the destinations included in this list, the Champs Elysees in Paris, in a nutshell, can be simplified as one of the most cliched shopping avenues in the city. It's true that though the Champs Elysees redeeming factor is its historical structures such as the Arc de Triomphe and the Palace de la Concorde. Other than that, the whole strip is pretty much lined with just about every fashion brand you can see inside any malls such as Zara, Louis Vuitton, Dior, and the likes. But urbanization did a lot worse for this historical place, lining it up with several fast food chains like McDonald's, Starbucks, Subway, and even Burger King. A much better alternative to visit is La Pagode, a genuine Japanese pagoda that dates back to the 19th century that serves as a cinema or take a stroll through the long-running street market of Les Marches de Belleville or go sightseeing at the La Gaite Lyrique and Le Ballon de Paris. Moulin Rouge, Paris While we're still on the topic of Paris, we'll be including the famous cabaret show of Moulin Rouge in the list. Well, you've probably seen the movie which stars Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman, but the place of origin here in Paris is known for its distinct red facade and can-can dancing shows. And the establishment has been maximizing the number of tourists who flock to see the show, but there's more to Paris than that. If you want to spend a fun night out in the city, there are several live jazz bars, theaters, and other places you could go to such as the Old Troy Maliettes, a cabaret that doubles as a cozy piano bar that's more pocket-friendly and more authentic for the Parisian feel rather than spend a 
over 100 bucks at Moulin Rouge. Mount Rushmore Keystone Also included in this list is Mount Rushmore and Keystone, and yes, we do admit that seeing the huge faces of the four famous US presidents up close can be overwhelming, but only in the first few minutes. Other than that, you'll probably start noticing how many people flock to this area to take photos, and then awkwardly wait as their companions take turn for the photo ops. There are other national parks worth visiting in the area, such as the Badlands National Park, which is home to dramatic landscapes and sprawling grasslands that cover a lot of ground to discover or discover the wildlife and the most complex caves in the world at the Wind Caves National Park. Niagara Falls, New York City Like the aforementioned Mount Rushmore, Niagara Falls is a sight to behold when you stand before one of God's creations for the first few minutes. That is why it made today's list of the most overrated tourist attractions. The US-Canada border, which is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, is now flocked with establishments such as casinos, restaurants, and souvenir shops that make it all the tackier. We do admit though that the Canadian side of the falls is far better compared to the US side since there are lesser establishments and the park over there has done its job in preserving the sanctity of the place. Stonehenge, Salisbury Next up is the Stonehenge in Salisbury, England. These huge slabs of stone that have been erected in the middle of nowhere have been the object of researchers and historians since way back, but now it stands as a popular and crowded tourist destination in England. Aside from that, the location is a bit of a hassle to reach since you have to devote a whole day to get here from London. And also you need to follow a designated pathway wherein you're only allowed a certain distance from the structure. And since you're already there, might as well take a peek at the Amsbury Historic Center and have fun at the Salisbury Escape Rooms, the Red Light District, Amsterdam. Otherwise called De Wallen, this popular tourist spot is made up of a network of alleys that contain about 300 one-room cabins rented by workers who offer adult-only services from behind a window or glass door that is typically illuminated by red. But other than this, there's not much to see in the red light district. For fun, you can experience a live flower auction in Alsmere, visit the secret museum of Alms Leaf here of Soldier, or eat pancakes at the Pancake Boat. At night, you can visit the theater Tuscany, an old movie theater that dates back to 1921, or stroll around the streets of Bejenhof, the Harbour Bridge, Sydney. Next on the list is one of the most popular tourist spots in Australia, Harbour Bridge, which is one of the most iconic landmarks of the country. Sure, it does look fun, but it's pretty pricey with prices that amount to $260 and more, which is pretty expensive just for that spot. For starters, there's Wendy's Secret Garden in Lavender Bay, a beautiful garden oasis made by a grief-stricken Wendy Whiteley, who decided to pour her grief from the death of her husband into beautifying the place. Other than that, you can head over to Cremon Point and take a dip in the turquoise waters of McCollum Pool that overlooks the harbor shaded by leafy trees. Ha Long Bay, Vietnam And finally on today's list, we have Ha Long Bay in Vietnam. This destination is famous for its picturesque view that looks as if it's something straight out of a fairy tale. Contrary to what the media portrays, Ha Long Bay has seen better days, and it greatly suffers extreme overpopulation, pollution, noise, and garbage from the tourists that visit the place. You're in luck if you manage to snap a photo of its still waters and the pillars cleared from any fogs. And with that, we're ending today's video of the world's most overrated tourist attractions. If you're planning to visit any of these places, you can opt to go for our suggested venues instead, since overcrowded places are quite a difficult predicament to get out of. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you go and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you'll be notified of our new releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.